so there are these host problems they are very interesting uh, when you first look at the problem statement you will think that there is information missing that did this probably the examiner or the problem maker made a mistake they did not give the entire story but then when you think closely about it you will find out that you will not need that information which you thought is needed okay so there are many problems like that uh, one of them came up in the ISIB study map entrance 2023 we will talk about that today and by the end of this video i will also tell you about another problem like this which you can find in a very beautiful book on mathematics so stick to the end of this video if you want to know that story as well let's get started So the problem says that there is a circle. Well, actually, they will be using quarter of a circle. So you divide the circle into two and two four parts, and they are only focusing on this quarter of the circle. And interestingly, the radius of the circle, or the radius, is not given. the radius is not given okay what is given is that there is a half chord there is something like this which is 10 cm long let's call this cd let's call this o a b okay and they have, we have a circle here which is inscribed in this uh in this bigger circle in in a very interesting way there are the, the this diameter and this half core they are tangent to this circle they are tangent to this circle and we want to find out the area of the shaded region the area of the shaded region okay so it's the quarter circle the quarter circle minus the orange circle you want to find out this area okay So at the first glance it may seem that you need to know the radius of the bigger circle because after all if you know the radius of the bigger circle if you know the radius of the bigger circle then you can just calculate the area of this quarter circle and you also need the area of the smaller radius of the smaller circle so you can just subtract it Uh, subtract this smaller area from the bigger area but it turns out you don't need the area of the bigger circle or the radius of the bigger circle let's see why so suppose the radius of the bigger circle is capital r so this length is capital r and the radius of the smaller smaller circle is small r okay so this is small r so this is basically 2r so r and r 2r right so what is the area of this quarter circle well it is 1 1/4 of pi capital r square right pi capital r square is the area of the bigger circle you just take 1 over 4 of that and what is the area of this small circle well it is just pi small r square so you want to find out the difference between these two or in other words what you want is you want 
you want pi by 4, let's take that common, capital R square minus 4R square. It's 4 small r square, right? So if you can find out this quantity, that is the area that you need, right? And the problem here is we don't know capital R, we don't know small r. But that's not needed actually. That's the fun of this problem. Well, you see, this is 2r. So this much is also 2 times small r. And if you join OB, OD, if you join OD, that's also the radius of the bigger circle. So OD is capital R, right? So OD is capital R. Now you have a right triangle here. OD is the hypotenuse, which is capital R. OC is two times small r. So what is r square, the hypotenuse square, minus two small r whole square, which is the height square. It's simply CD square, right? It's simply CD square. It's Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square minus one of the leg whole square is just the square of the other leg. But this is exactly what we want. This is exactly what we want, right? This is capital R square minus 2R whole square, which is 4R square. So capital R square minus 4R square is exactly CD square. And that's exactly what we want. And that is equal to 100. So the area that we needed is 5 by 4 times 100, which is 25 by 25 pi, 25 pi, right? So that's the fun of this problem. It seems that it was incomplete in the beginning, but when you try to investigate it, it is, it is complete in a sense. I told you about that interesting ghost problem from another book. So there is this book by Gamow called 123 Infinity. It's a very beautiful book. Maybe I will talk about it in another episode. In that book, there is this problem related to complex numbers and geometry. And it's called the pirate story. So you can also Google this. Uh, problem. It's called the pirate story problem. The story goes like this, that once upon a time there was a pirate with, who actually went to an island and he hid, it, he hid a lot of gold in a particular spot. The treasure had a treasure map. So what kind of map was it? It said that there was this well, let's call it W, and there are two trees in the island, and there are nothing else actually. There are two trees in the island, T1 and T2, and there is this well. So the way the pirate hid the treasure is like this. He went from W to T1, and then took a turn, 90 degree turn, and reached a point, let's call it capital A. He went from W to T2 and took a 90 degree turn, let's call this capital B. So, W T1 is equal to T1A and W T2 is equal to T2B. Okay, that's how... He is moving and then he would hide the, he would hide the uh, treasure in the midpoint of AB. In the midpoint of AB. Let's call it M. Okay. So this is the treasure map. From W, you go to the first street, turn by 90 degree, walk the same distance up to A. From W, you take, go to T2, walk 
uh, turn 90 degree and walk the same distance to reach B and hide the treasure in the midpoint of A and B. So he gave this map to his son after a few years and his son came back to the island to find the treasure. So he saw that there was this there are these two trees the trees still are the, the trees are still there but the well is nowhere to be seen like so that the point W is totally invisible it's not clear at all maybe there was a storm or something the well was broken so or so he is unable to find the well he found the two trees so the other question is will he be able to find the treasure it's a fantastic problem you can think about it it's a ghost problem in the sense that at the end of this problem you will find that actually the position of the treasure does not depend on the position of the well the w okay so uh yeah i mean uh, there are many such ghost problems out there and uh i hope you will enjoy solving them if you want more information about Chinta programs, the Math Olympiad programs, ISI, CMI, and Truths programs, physics programs, computer science programs, you can check the link is, links in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.